today we are going to study the one of the important uh, bone of the lower limb that is the hip bone that includes the osteology of uh, hip bone we are going to study uh, hip bone is a one of the lower limb bone which we are going to study today in this lecture and i am going to deal the today relating the hip bone that is the introduction of the hip bone then second one what are the that is a hip bone included in the which type of bone under the classification of bone and what are the joints formed by the bone that is a very important then we are going to study the bone more detail about hip bone that is the side determination point then anatomical position then we are going to study the external feature or general features of the ilium pubis and ischium then muscle attachments of the ilium pubis and ischium we are going to deal uh, after that we are going to more detail points of the acetabulum and obturator foramen and uh, mostly lastly comes that is the ossification of the hip bone so the today we are going to study the hip bone that is the uh, first one introduction of the hip bone this hip bone is uh, one of the lower extremity bone and uh, large bone and uh, this is one of the irregular type of bone and uh, here we have to consider this hip bone is also called as a innominate bone so this is a name which is you have to remember that is a hip bone is also called as an innominate bone in this introduction we have come across the type of bone is irregular type of bone and uh, in this we have to uh, relate the what are the joints formed by the hip bone in this hip bone is formed by the ilium pubis and ischium three parts of the hip bone which are there that is upper most superiorly we have the ilium anterior inferiorly we have the pubis and we are going to have the posterior inferiorly ischium so that hip bone is consist of the three parts ilium and pubis and ischium they fuse together at the cup shaped hollow cavity called as a acetabulum and there is an oval gap between the pubis and ischium that is we call as an obturator foramen so these are the parts which is uh, fused together at the cup shaped hollow cavity that is called as an uh, hip bone formed by the three elements ilium pubis and ischium what are the joints formed by the hip bone so joints formed by the hip bone that is a head of femur articulates with the acetabulum forming the hip joint and uh, this pubis articulates with the opposite pubis forming the pubic symphysis then posteriorly it is articulating with the sacrum that is a uh, forming the sacroiliac joint so this is a one hip bone you have seen now we are going to uh, show you the that is a uh, this is a called the pelvis pelvis formed by the two hip bone we are going to get so joints we have the sacroiliac joint then pubic symphysis and uh, this acetabulum articulates with the head of femur part uh, forming the hip joint so this is about the joints formed by the hip bone next we are going to deal about the what are the side determination points of the hip bone when you hold in the anatomical position of this uh, hip bone side determination points are the first one this acetabulum which is directed laterally this acetabulum directed laterally then we have the the pure symphysial surface which is it is there in the median plane and uh, upper part is formed by the ilium that is situated above the acetabulum so that ilium forming the upper part of the hip bone situated above the acetabulum and obturator foramen below the acetabulum between the pubis and ischium and acetabulum directed laterally so these are the three points of the side determination first point acetabulum directed laterally large upper part formed by the ilium situated above the acetabulum obturator foramen below the acetabulum situated between the pubis and the ischium so this is all about the that is a side determination point of the hip bone going to the anatomical position of the hip bone the this is the anterior superior iliac spine and pubic tubercle lie in the same coronal plane and uh, this symphysial surface lie in the median plane and uh, this pelvic surface of the hip bone that is the pubis directed backwards and upwards these are the three points of the anatomical position of the hip bone so after this we are going to deal about the 
what are the general features of the hip bone in the general features we have the ilium pubis ischium this ilium forms the contribution at the bicep cartilage at the acetabulum that is how we are going to get the 2/5 of the acetabulum pubis contributing at the 1/5 of the acetabulum ischium uh, the contributes the 2/5 of the acetabulum so that we are going to have the all three parts ilium pubis and ischium joints at the cup shaped hollow cavity acetabulum after this general features of the ilium this ilium is upper part of the hip bone and this upper part which is consists the two ends upper end and lower end and it has a uh, three borders this is the anterior border and this is a medial border and this is a posterior border so anterior medial and this is a posterior border of the hip bone it has a uh, four spines one is a anterior superior iliac spine anterior inferior iliac spine and this is a one which is a posterior superior iliac spine and posterior inferior iliac spine it is having the three surfaces which is we call as a this is a iliac fossa and sacro pelvic surface and we are going going to get the this the gluteal surface of the ilium this gluteal surface has the gluteal lines this is the anterior gluteal line posterior gluteal line inferior gluteal line this this is all about the uh, general features of the ilium <coughs> going to the next pubis pubis has the body of pubis pubic tubercle and this is a pubic tubercle and this is a pubic crest and this is a body of pubis and uh, this is a superior ramus of pubis this is the inferior ramus of pubis this superior ramus which is having the pectineal surface pubis body of pubis having the anterior surface this is a posterior surface a medial or the symphysial surface so this is about the pubis uh, general features going to the ischium this ischium consist of the ischial tuberosity lesser sciatic notch ischial spine this is a greater sciatic notch so we have the ischial spine lesser sciatic notch and this is a uh, ischial tuberosity so this is the body of ischium it has the one which is the anterior border and this is a posterior border and this is a lateral border three borders of the uh, ischium it has a femoral surface this is a pelvic surface and this is a dorsal surface so all these are the three surfaces and three borders of the ischium it is also in the upper and lower end so most important you have to remember about the ischial tuberosity and this is a ischial uh, spine and this is a lesser sciatic notch so this is all about the we have studied the that is the external features of the that is the general features of the ilium pubis and ischium so this is all about the general features <coughs>